Hello and welcome to the first module of the data driven cybersecurity class. And today we'll give a brief introduction what's going on, what is important and what is expectation and let you know also what uh, domains and what areas of expertise that we're going to cover in this specific class. So now I'm going to go ahead and start by sharing my screen. All right, so this is the data driven cybersecurity and me, your instructor, Dr. Zag El Sayed, you can call me Dr. Zag. As an introduction, let's talk about first the computer networks encryption and that digital data storage. And this is where all the magic happens towards the data. Because uh, looking at the security as cybersecurity using only a defense mechanism, it will eventually fail. Because it doesn't matter how strong is your castle, they always will find, there will always be people who are going to find some tools, techniques, methods, or even overcome with better technology to destroy your defense. This is why it's very important to have network monitoring happening all the time to, to your system. Some of you who already took the uh, network monitoring or uh, sec network uh, security monitoring class will get more information about that. But here it doesn't require all this information, all this knowledge, because we'll just go and see the portion that actually interests us in this class, which is the data. And this is the hardest part to get in the security monitoring. We can collect that as much as we can, different formats, different uh, level of details. But the question is what to do with this data later on? How we can get a more informative and more smart decision analysis or even prediction of what of the current state we have right now? And there's much more new technologies that can be added towards our data analysis including machine learning, deep learning, and even more AI techniques. A lot of network monitoring or cybersecurity specialists, they don't like using AI systems because they really, they just lose control of what's going on and they don't know how to teach the machine something new. And sometimes they overwhelmed with false positives that actually lose the credibility of the system later on. But in our class here, we want to make a new joint of looking at the data of cybersecurity of our main resource. And we are not only looking at network cybersecurity, we're looking at cybersecurity as a whole, so including uh, security system in the company or any facility or any organization that you have. Um, data entry, uh, server logs, uh, even access control, all of them will be covered in this class. As I already uh, showed in the syllabus and I told some of the students, there will be no textbook for this class. However, I really recommend you to look at some of these books, uh, some of these books is because they have a very interesting information and some of you who already took the class of network Security monitoring should have this book already available, which is the Applied Network Security Monitoring. It tells you the difference of how to monitor the network, how to monitor a machine, and what are the available techniques and the early basis of the network monitoring. Other than that, I really recommend you to at least have a look on these books. Don't buy the book, just know what it is, search for it. Some of them are available in digital formats, which you can read. Uh, network, uh, Computer Networks for Tenbo 6th uh, edition is amazing book for anybody who wanna get more information or refresh information about computer networks. TCPIP Illustrated Volume 1, 
I always recommend this book because it tells you how the IP protocol works and just in mind you the packet size, the header, what is the meaning of the uh, protocol, the encapsulation, and so on. And for the uh, practical packet analysis, it shows you basically, which is the third book here on the uh, right side, it shows you exactly ha what happens inside the network step by step. This way, if you really forgot how the network works or need a reminder about how um, the packets are constructed, what is the meaning of them, what is the uh, fragmentation and so on, it can give you, it can be a really good reference for you. But again, you don't have to buy any book because if you will need a specific chapter or specific portion of the book, I will provide you with the material. So don't worry about that. Additionally, during the course, we will watch other videos, some commercial videos to see what products are available right there. We'll watch some of the LinkedIn courses where you will be required to complete because it will give you just a hands-on practice of the data, uh, as well as some research papers or research journals, scientific journals that we're going to look at it and analyze what's inside there so we can get a better knowledge of our method. So, data-driven cybersecurity, what is the definition? It's just an arrangement where big data is used to make informed decision about cybersecurity practice in a company, organization, or any structure. So, we combine the concepts of the big data, not only just to analyze, but also to make informative decision. And this is what actually is important for the network security specialist or the network specialist of the IT uh, specialist in any company. What to do next after you get the data? If you're already familiar with network monitoring, uh, you will know that you collect a lot of data in different formats, apply some techniques, show, see any abnormality, look at the traffic, but then what? Usually tells it it will go to the managerial level, and they will decide what to do. But now, using this big data, we can actually get a very, a very informative decision what to do next. And it's why we have this course. So the goal of our class here is to identify the gaps in the security performance, to uncover the gaps in security program based on the uh, comparison of risk factors. And we will talk about risk factors later on. Additionally, we create an informative improvement of the plans, what to do next based on the data. Because just storing the data is nothing. Storing the data is just like getting an income and you don't do anything with that. You don't invest, you don't see what's in, in the future what will happen. So this is the end, it's not the end of the cycle. The data have a, a life cycle and also we'll discuss that in our uh, future modules. Most importantly, how to make a confident report so we can share critical security performance metrics, exclusive board, and how to say to the, cons uh, to the customers and if there's any regulation based on the data. So in our course here, we will really shift from just using the tools for cybersecurity into how to use the tools of data to apply them on cybersecurity. Other goals of our class also is to make different model scenario of the data and see how we can see different opportunities of the security performance and how to improve it. How to create a strategy, an action plan based on the data that we have to be very tailored and specific to every single um, organization, every single scenario and so on. Also, how to track the progress if you have any um, prog problems that happen in the network, how to go and update policies later on. All, all of that, not by using only policies, but also based on the data and the previous events. To get all of that better, uh, to get all of that in a better shape, we will use machine learning techniques to get to that point. So, for the characteristics here, um, this course will teach you the concept, the application, the configuration, and the vision 
for of the data driven cyber security uh, mostly we will get our data from an ips system which is the intrusion prevention system intrusion prevention system is just a device that sits on your network considers like a firewall but have an extra uh, features that can use to protect your network so also our class here will be revising computer networks for a little bit machine learning as well as we we'll concentrate on the new data or big data analysis tools and techniques for the discussion here network management is very important because this is where your most hidden data uh, um, sits at. Other than that, the intrusion prevention system will revise that. We'll talk about the signature and the anomaly based detection. We'll talk about the packets and the log files analysis. And here will be the will be at the first step when we collect our data. Don't be uh, intimidated by the amount of information that we can have in the course. We always will refresh and review the concept of the cybersecurity network, computer network, machine learning. We also identify the different roles across the team and organization. If you will be an IT specialist working in the data driven cybersecurity, we we'll introduce new tools and the current tools side to side to see what we can use and what is missing. This way you can imply the new machine learning techniques towards the missing parts in the already existing tools. So data driven cybersecurity is not eliminating all the existing tools out there. It's a new way to make these tools stronger, smarter and more um, confident in their decisions by using the data behind that. We'll also describe the challenges that we have in cybersecurity from the data science point of view, because this is where we will be focusing here. So expect a lot of data science work, expect a lot of data uh, analysis work. We'll have hands on by using a lot of data. So we'll go a little bit. Um, some of the IT students don't like coding, which really I'm surprised how, because it's a part of your work, but I always recommend my student to a little bit of coding. In our case, we will use Python basically uh, to do small coding. It's very light weight Python programming. So I guess all of you will be very comfortable with that. So we will go step by step till you will be professional in this step. And at the end, other than the teaching of how to use the uh, data driven cybersecurity, we'll talk about the visualization, which will be towards the end of our semester, which is how to make a better visualization of the data that we have. Some of the terms and protocols that we need to know is the what is the SNMP, uh, what is the network management, how we can provide confidentiality, integrity, and availability in the network management. The host and network-based IPS IDS, which is a combination of the software and hardware. This is a definition that we need to know. Uh, talk about um, terms that we need to know also is a disrupted intrusion prevention system and how it differs from the machine-based IPS and see what is the concept of the agents, including attack data, incident analysis, and the advanced network monitoring. I also recommend you to revise what is the signature-based detection, especially in the malicious network traffic. We will go through all of this definition later, but I want you please to have time to search for it and know what it is. Additionally, to that is anomaly based detection, deep packet inspection, honey pots on honey nets, and the analysis part. All of these definitions can be existing in our the book that I recommended you to read, which is the uh, network monitor. I can go back first, show you where it is at. It was the first book right here. 
in the applied network security mode. Very easy to read book. It was written by a guy from Kentucky, so he's from the area around here. I will recommend you all to revise it and read at least once so you can get all this concept back. Thank you.